and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do something super relaxed and quick and what not. And today I'm holding a camera and I've got a different background, but my background is, my normal background is right here. I'm just starting here. Who knows what reason. Um, but before I tell you what we're doing, you can't even see me. Before I tell you what we're going to be doing in today's video, can you please subscribe to this channel so you become a paint blob in our paint palette family. <laughs> so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you all the stuff that I use in my rick. In my wreck this journal, no. In my junk journal. If you don't know what my junk journal is, it's this thing. And I've been doing pages in it. The last page that I did in it, I actually showed you guys on my YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. So if you want to see it in more detail and see how I did it, go find that video because it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm going to be showing you all the stuff that I use in this book and to create this book. So I have everything laid out on my desk here, as you can see, and I'm going to be showing you all of it. So normally people have like a junk journal, but I have a junk folder. <laughs> Because people have like a junk drawer, I have a junk folder. So this is my junk folder and I keep everything in this thing. So we have scrap pieces of paper from top model books, um, pictures, animal things, little, any little bag, items, cards that came from that clay kit clay thing that I did so go check out that video where I sh where I made this clay unicorn I kept that we have little pockets in here some zip zip bags here's the clay from that kit um all this stuff and then if we go all the way to the end here are all my zip lock pockets because when I'm doing these books I make I use a lot of pockets See here, I used one, and um, I don't think there's a lot that I used in this book, but definitely in my old junk journal, I use a lot of these pockets. They are very nice to have, so I kept these with me. So yeah, find yourself a little place to put all little scraps of paper, moss, bags, folders, anything that you might think you might want to use in your junk journal. So that's where I keep that. And then I have this little thing. It's called gift label book. And it has like things to label stuff, but I use them so that it comes with like these little label things that you can put in the book. And I have actually used one of them on my pink page i use one of them you see that i use them there and then i use the stickers there so yeah you can use them they come with the labels and then they also come with these cute little pockets which is very nice so yeah and then they have some nice string so yeah get yourself your own little labeling book labeling Ah, we're just getting stuck here. <laughs> Book. Next, these things that actually don't belong to me. My friends let me borrow them. But it's all little punch cutout things. So these all make the cutouts in my pages. Like when I was doing this one, I used this cutout. And then when I was doing the edges on the pages, I used this one so they are very handy to have um they make cool things to the edge of your pages there's a circle one heart one flower one leaf one 
I've definitely, definitely used these. See, there's the star one. The star one's in there. To make this little edge on the book, I used the scissors in there. There, the edge on the book there. Definitely in here, the edges, the leaves. I use the leaves. So, yeah, I definitely use these. So, these are very handy to have. And then, tape. Tape, 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 tape. I definitely use tape. Like, when I'm doing junk journaling, um, double-sided tape. Ah, I'm making a lot of noise, Emma. Double-sided tape is the hero when I'm doing my junk journaling. The amount of times I use double-sided tape when I'm doing junk journaling is crazy. I use double-sided tape for so many things to glue pockets to glue things on that my normal glue wouldn't do different textures of things i guys get yourself some double side tape if you want to do this book and then i have all these washi tapes which are nice to have so yeah all washi tapes and then i also use sticky notes so i have all these Sticky notes in here. Yeah, so this is a little book. These are all cute little, ah, uh, cute little sticker kind of things. And then, ugh, we got some more sticky notes. So it's always nice to have a little bit of sticker notes. I've collected quite a lot, and these are not all sticky, like some of them have to use glue, but it's nice to have that. And then these are the other sheets of paper <laughs> that, don't, that I don't put in this one. <laughs> so, yeah, there's cardboard, there's different kinds of papers, there's like wrapping paper, texture paper, zip lock. Uh, Ziploc things for squishies, a baggy, all kind of stuff. And then the basic thing that loads of people have is stickers. I definitely use stickers, and you must have seen this folder some time in your life. And then colored paper. I definitely use, oh, sorry, colored paper. But there's this amazing colored paper that I want to show you guys. Let me get it quick. Oh, da, 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 da. Here it is. Sorry. <laughs> this is why when you're doing these videos, you need a camera person. Or you're going to be holding the camera and you only have one hand. Guys, get yourself this pad. It is amazing. It comes with textured and blank pieces of paper see it's so nice very very nice <laughs> so get yourself that and yeah that is everything that i use to make this book <laughs> So, yes, it is crazy to think how many things you need for this book. But, like, this is years, years, years of collecting. And if you start now, you'll be able to find loads of things. And you can also print things off of the internet. Um, I don't know what else to say. You can go look in shops for stickers and colored paper, print things off of the internet. Um, yeah, guys, there's lots of ways to get a collection like this. And then if you're going to do this book, you need to think in a way like, oh, maybe I could use this. Oh, let me not throw this away. So that's how you need to think if you're going to make this book. But this book is a loads of fun to make. And it's very nice to look through in the end. But if you don't know what a junk journal is, it's literally like a book where you pick out pockets and you look through sections and you go through pockets and you flip pages and you feel things. So that's what a junk journal is. If you haven't seen my last junk 
journal book that I made. Please go check it out. It's a five parter video where I show a full um, tour, flip through, flip through, that's what I'm looking for, of this book. And it's, it, I like this book. <laughs> I really enjoyed making it. And on the first part of that book, I really explain what a junk journal is. If you're still interested, then I explain it in more detail. But I thought I would show you guys all the stuff that I use to make this fun little book. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little video. Sorry it wasn't like crazy and showing any art things or anything like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you enjoyed seeing all the stuff and now you know exactly what you need to start with a junk journal. If you wanna make a junk journal, go ahead, have fun with it. And yeah, now you know all the stuff that you need to get, collect, and just have fun <laughs> with making your junk journal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.